Hello, welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial episode 48. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a laser to a map. And um, in order to follow this tutorial, uh, you need to download the noble example. You can go to gmap.org and on the left side, uh, click notebooks. Scroll down to find number 48. And once you are here, you can right click uh, the open in collect uh, button and then th this one should open in Google Collab so uh, you are welcome to run this one directly using Google Collab or you can also download this one to your local computer so I'm going to download the notebook to my computer uh, within the downloads folder click save and uh, it's here then you can open this one uh, within uh, your folder and then I'm going to open my terminal. Okay. So let's type conda activate GE and then type Jupyter Notebook. It should open uh, uh, Jupyter Notebook on your browser. And then you can uh, click to open the notebook. So as you can see from here, um, we have two sections. Uh, if you on the left side here, you can see the table of contents. We have two sections. So the first one is how to uh, add a built-in uh, laser to the map. Um, I already have some built-in one, so you don't have to do that. Like you just need to pass in uh, the name of the laser. And the second one is that uh, if the laser that you want uh, is not a built-in. Um, then you can also customize uh, by yourself. You can add pretty much anything uh, you like to the map uh, as a, a laser. So this one is uh, different from the previous one. So this laser uh, is draggable. So basically you can move the laser around the map. And um, if you go to the GMAP uh, website, um, there's another tutorial, number 14. Um, so this is the one that I, um, uh, the tutorial that I presented uh, earlier and so keep in mind this one is just for the ipi leaflet uh, package and um, so i recently uh, found out that you can also do it for uh, folium so that's why i create another uh, tutorial uh, this tutorial so and let's get started so first of all um, you you need to install the package if you have not done this uh, you can follow my uh, fo uh, other tutorials to install the package and then uh, very important we need to import the libraries so we need the earth engine uh, python api and this one is different you make sure that you import ee.folium as gmap and after that everything else are uh, very similar like what you uh, traditionally use uh, gmap so make sure you import the e folium otherwise you won't be able to get um the draggable uh, legend so once we import um, the e folium then we can first look at what kind of a uh, built-in uh, lasers uh, do we have so you can directly call the gmap dot uh, built-in uh, lasers and then print out each one so if you click uh, you see here i have um, two six eight ten eleven uh, built-in uh, lasers so those are the common one for example the nlcd uh, is very common and might be some other um modis data set or others uh, how can you find out what kind of built-in lens and uh, what does this really mean you can go to actually go to the github uh, uh, repo and from there you can look at the source code so if you click gmap and then click uh, lasers.py you can look at the source code behind so what does this really mean so this is the built-in lens and so this is the name of the lens and you can also it's actually a dictionary so you have a key also have a color so this is how it is being uh, built in within the, the package you're welcome to submit free request if there's other um uh, uh lasers that you use frequently that you want uh, gmap to uh, incorporate yeah you are welcome to submit a free request so you can go to uh, the repo and then uh, issues from here you can new issue and then you can get started to submit a free request uh, if you uh, if you want okay so let's go back to uh, this notebook so as we can see we have a couple of uh, built-in lasers so next uh, let's look at uh, some of the data set how we can use the built-in uh, lasers first of all i'm going to use uh, in this demo i'm going to use the national land cover database so this one is for the uh, us 
you can click the link uh, to locate the uh, the data set if you want so you can see the uh, description i'm just going to just uh, quickly go through the source code so we're going to first create an interactive map and then we are going to uh, load the earth engine uh, NAOCD. Keep in mind the NAOCD uh, has a number of uh, bands. If you want to see in here, it has land cover, impervious service, and other different uh, uh, bands. But we only want the land cover, original one. So that's why we only select one band. And then we add the data to the map. Once we have the map, then we can add the built-in legend. So all we need to do is to call this function called add uh, legend. And then passing the parameter built-in legend equal to whatever lesson you want uh, select from one of these from here apparently we are using the NLCD so we want the NLCD lesson lastly we want to add the layer control uh, this one is optional so if you don't have the layer control you won't be able to turn layer on and off so we want this one especially if you have uh, multiple layers right now we only have one layer it's fine if you don't include this one so just uh, 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 shift enter to execute and now we should have the map so as you can see uh, we have the uh, lane cover data this is the layer control you can turn it on and off right and so this is the lesson that we talk about so this one is built in so essentially you only need one line of code to do this okay so it, it's movable you can see you can, you can move to any corner if you want one uh, limitation is that if you maximize uh, the lesson is, is not going to show it up so this is kind of limitation um i haven't figured out how to uh, uh to do to fix this uh, limitation yet but uh in the future if i figure it out um i might make another video but for now it's still good to have this one on the map because um if you show the people they sometimes if they, they are not familiar with the data set they could not figure out what its color represents so now you see for example this one here the color uh, corresponds to number 82 ag uh, uh, cultivated uh, crops so basically uh, ag agriculture right red color represent uh, developed uh, area uh, high intensity uh, medium intensity low intensity right you also have grass and, and forages uh, something like that so very useful <laughs> next one i'm going to show you how to do that similarly for uh, mode uh, mode is land cover um you can click the link to look at uh, more information about the data set but uh, i'm going to quickly go through the source code so we create an interactive interactive map then we load the data set uh, you can also change the um the symbology how you want to visualize the data set and then uh, we're going to add this data set to the map um sorry i have duplicate here I just need to delete and we add the layer so this is the same thing we just need to add lesion and then use the built-in uh, lesion so this one here is modis 006 mcd 12 uh, q1 so it's the same from the list in here so one of them again uh shift enter to execute uh, then we should have this one Oops. if it doesn't show up uh okay it's here so this one here the built-in uh, laser is a bit uh, long for each item so you are welcome to move around you can move the left to the right and so the cast uh the built-in one uh with this with the long uh, laser so later i'm going to show you how you can customize to make this one uh, shorter if you want but this is what we have and you can turn this one on and off right so this is the second example uh, you're welcome to try out um, other data sets uh, in here next i'm going to show you how to add customized uh, lesions as i mentioned earlier uh, some of the if you have your customized data set you might not have uh, the lesion uh, you, you might not be able to use the built-in one so how can we actually create a customized uh, lesion just for your data set so um, it's actually very simple so let's look at here section 2.1 2.1 and the same uh you first you can create an interactive map then uh you will need to have two lists okay list of labels and list of um colors if you see from the lesson here we use earlier right you need to have color and so this one is the color and this one is the label so the text here 
for each um, item is the uh, label. So we, we need uh, basically two lists, uh, the list of colors and the list of labels. Uh, that's it. They need to have the same length. And the color you can uh, provide using uh, hex code or you can provide using a tuple. So uh, basically RGB, right? And we can do the first one. So once we have the two labels, we can do the same thing. So in this case, we haven't added any data yet. I'm just going to show you how you can add the legend. So you can have a title and then you can also have the labels and also the colors. So those are the parameters you can uh, pass in. Let's execute first to see what it looks like. So we don't um, add any data, we just add the legend. Uh, it's uh, still uh, movable. And this is the text, right? One, two, three, four, uh, etc. And also the five colors. If you want to change the color, I can uh, change the uh, color using RGB. And then you can hit enter. Then you're going to have a different one. So depends on how your uh, um, data set look like. All you need to do basically is to have this one. So this is something that you can get from the data set. For example, when you are visualizing the data, you have the uh, Earth Engine uh, palette. So you can pass this palette into um, the colors in here. Uh, it's the same. So And so this is one way you can uh, add the customized laser. You can put your cursor here and then uh, hit uh, Shift Tab on your keyboard to bring up the, uh, the, the documentation so in here we provide three uh, parameters title uh, colors and labels but uh, earlier we also used the built-in right but there's another one called laser uh, did uh, so it's a dictionary oh by the way you can also change the opacity uh, so if you want for example in this in here by default it's uh, uh, Opacity point uh, one basically is like non-transparent, but you can, if you change the opacity to uh, maybe point five, if you execute, now you see here this one right now is a bit uh, the opacity changed to fifty percent, so it's a bit uh, transparent right now. Uh, you can change to a smaller number, uh, maybe point two, right? Even more transparent. So this is how you can customize uh, the parameters. And so the last example here is to show you how you can use a dictionary. So sometimes you might have already have something already defined in a dictionary. You can certainly get the key and also the values from a dictionary. But um, so you can also do it the other way. And this is what we're going to do here. We create a map and then we define a laser dictionary. As I mentioned earlier, you have the key. You have the value so the key is the description the label for uh, the laser item and this one is the color so you can either put um, a hashtag or uh, no hashtag so this one must be a hex code uh, six digit number once we define the dictionary then we can do the same thing uh, we can add the data set uh, again we are going to use the nlcd link cover data so we add the data layer and this is the line of code that actually add the laser for this one, we change the title to Nation uh, NLCD Lane Cover Clarification. And so we don't use the uh, colors and labels. In this case, we use the dictionary. So all we need to do, execute. Uh, you should get the same one as the built-in. So if you go back to the the first example I show you, um, you can either use the built-in uh, if it is an NLCD. For other days that you can customize. So and if you can see from here right now the the viewing legend the nlcd uh you can see the title here is uh, by default it's called legend but for the last one in here uh we or in here right now we change to nlcd lane cover classification so this one you can customize and pass in the dictionary so this is one way that you can um um add a legend to the map lastly i'm going to show you another example so um this one that might be very useful if you don't want to uh, come up with this one by yourself so what you can do is to for example if you're on the uh, earth engine data catalog uh, website and from there you might see this data set oh, okay the color looks nice how can i uh customize the color like in in, in uh, gmap 
you can do the same thing so all you need to do you just need this one so if you can see from here uh you can copy and then you can come back to here define a variable and then um read the text that we just copy we are using triple quotes so make sure you use a uh, triple quotes right and then i can paste in here all we need to do is just paste in here and then uh, we're going to add the data and we can visualize the data uh, how we're going to visualize and lastly this is what we want uh, you need to call the function called legend uh, from ee so this is the variable that we define uh, how the color is going to look like you just copy and paste and automatically this function is going to extract um, the color and values uh, from here so just to show you uh, what does this mean let's execute first to see what it looks like okay so you see here pretty nicely um, that uh, you don't really need to create a table by yourself like to type manually you just copy and paste and then put within uh, just replace the content in here within the uh, triple quotes and then you just hit one uh, you get you can customize the title and also the laser uh, dictionary so this is the same that you can apply to pretty much um any data set so if you go um go to the earth engine data catalog uh, as long as you can see uh, from the band's uh, description and if you see something like class table uh, you will be able to do that so similarly you might have for example length cover type uh, class 2 this might be very different so i can show you let's say band uh, which one a lane cover type 2 right so we can come back to here copy this one and let's change this one to lane cover type 2 and for type 2 we need this one so copy come back and then within here paste go to the left all right, so this one uh, is different from the one we used earlier let's see what happened okay so now you can realize that this is uh, slightly different from the one uh, we used so the color might might not be exactly the same it depends on the uh, the values anyway so this is how you can easily create a customized laser and then add to uh, the folium map again this is for folium only it doesn't work in the ipad leaf that uh, it's not movable if you use ipad leaf but uh, if you want to use ipad leaf uh, check out my tutorial number 14 uh, that one is for ipad leaf okay so uh, that's all for this uh, tutorial uh, if you enjoy this video please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel hope to see you in my next video take care Bye-bye.